In this video, I will show you how to use a USB drive on your Philips TV. Over here, I have the older model of Philips Smart TV, but it doesn't matter the size or type of Philips TV you have. Whether you have the Philips Android TV, Philips Google TV, or even the Philips Roku TV, I'm going to try to carry everyone along while making this video. Now, first things first, you have to make sure that your USB drive is compatible with your Philips TV. And for your USB drive to be compatible with your Philips TV, it has to be formatted at MS-DOS FAT at 32. Now, why some USB drive are already formatted at MS-DOS FAT at 32, some are not. So if you connect your USB drive to your Philips TV and it does not show up, then it is not on MS-DOS FAT at 32. And the process of doing this is not so difficult. I'm going to show you how to format any USB drive you have to MS-DOS FAT at 32 using your laptop in a second. Now to format your USB drive to MS-DOS FAT at 32, first thing you want to do is to go ahead and connect your USB drive to your laptop. In this case, I am using a MacBook over here, but you can do this on your Windows laptop as well. Now once it is connected, you want to go ahead and open up the Finder app, which is the equivalent of the File Explorer in the case of your Windows laptop. Now if you're using a Windows laptop, what you can just do is to go ahead and find your connected USB drive. In my case, this is it over here. And what you just want to do is to go ahead and right click on it and you're going to see the options to format the USB drive. Go ahead and select format and then choose the MS-DOS FAT at 32. In the case of a MacBook just like this one over here, what you want to do is to go over to the applications folder over here and then you just want to scroll down to where you have utilities. You can literally see it over here. Go ahead and expand it and then scroll down to where you have disk utility you can literally see that over there now double click on it and now go ahead and select your usb drive which you can see over here now you can now format the usb drive by clicking on the erase button over here so just go ahead and click on it just like so and now you want to go ahead and select ms dos fat at 32 so make sure that it is actually formatted at ms dos fat at 32 now once this is done your usb drive will now be compatible with your tv and finally after you must have formatted your usb drive to ms dos fat at 32 the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and connect it to any of the usb ports on your philips tv whether you have the philips google philips android or the older models of philips tv just like this one just go ahead and connect it to any of the usb ports on your tv now once your USB drive is connected, in some Philips TV you're going to see a notification letting you know that a USB drive has been connected to your Philips Smart TV but if you do not see that notification, you don't have to worry. Now what you just want to do is to go ahead and locate the Media Player app on your Philips TV. The location of the Media Player app or Media Player feature on your Philips TV can actually differ depending on the type of Philips TV you have. In most cases, what you just want to do is to go ahead and locate the input source button on your Philips TV remote control. Now you can literally see the input source button over here on my Philips TV. So once I press on it, you can literally find my USB drive over here on the TV. For the Philips Google TV, Philips Roku TV or Philips Android TV just like this one over here, there are basically two ways you can access the Media Player app. The first option is to just press on the input source button which is basically this button over here. You can actually just look for this icon on your remote control. Once you press on it, you should be able to see all of the input sources on your Philips TV then just go ahead and select the media player option. Alternatively, the media player app is usually pre-installed on most Philips TV like your Philips Android, Philips Google or Philips Roku TV. So you just want to go ahead and find it from the list of apps on your Philips TV. In my case, you can literally find the media player app over here or in some cases, you can just come over to the app section and you should be able to find this from over here. Once you open it, you should be able to access all of the content on your USB drive from your Philips Philips TV. Now at this point, you just want to go ahead and select your USB drive or the media player app. Go ahead and select it just like so and over here you should be able to find all of the contents on your USB drive. Now you can literally see my U disk over here and under it you can literally see we have the music folder, the photos and the videos. So I can go ahead and start watching all of the contents under videos by selecting videos. I currently do not have any actually and you can as well just go ahead and watch the photos and the music as well. Now one thing you have to note is that not all file types can actually work on your Philips TV but trust me majority of the file type that you probably think about actually works. So you just want to go ahead and flood your USB drive with as much videos and contents you want and watch them on your Philips TV without any issue. If you find this video useful, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one.